So, uh, my parents love this show, Doomsday Preppers, and I like the show because I like the idea of a global catastrophe that would completely halt, you know, Western civilization and all their debauchery. But when you get right down to it, most catastrophes can easily be controlled. What the media is not telling you is that everything is poisoned. The water is poisoned, the air is poisoned, our minds are definitely poisoned. Uh, you know, fish are washing up on sea dead, birds are falling from the sky, bees are not producing honey or pollinating, uh, you know, mammals are going extinct, and all this other shit. And that is menial in comparison to what could happen if, say, a quasar were to hit and shut down all our electrical output. Out of all the catastrophes that could happen, uh, you know, massive earthquakes, super volcanoes, uh, gamma radiation bursts, none of them are in comparison to what will happen if the electricity goes down and there's no coolants to the nuclear factories. Now, mind you, most nuclear factories have backup plans to keep them cool for a substantial amount of time. But if all the electricity goes out and it is a massive blackout, you have about three weeks to live. And then after that, everything is kaput. Even if you are not caught in the initial atomic catastrophe, it would pollute the water to such an extent, it would radiate the land to such an extent, it would infect the clouds and the air to such an extent that there is no way you could survive. I don't care if you fucking exist in a bunker, uh, you're pretty much done. But seeing as society is so dead inside anyway, and so unwilling to fight for anything resembling rights, I don't see much of the point in caring. I don't see much of the point in not welcoming the inevitable apocalypse that will befall us from one regard or another when human beings are not willing to act in accordance to their own self-interest and their own self-preservation. I am not saying people should be selfish. What I'm saying is people should have that urge to survive. People should have that... People should strive for more. But they never do. You know, that's why I have fucking attorneys of all people telling me, it's a visitor for them, they can do what they want to. And I will badmouth them just like anybody else. Because if they're going to act like stupid twats on the internet, I'm going to treat them like stupid twats on the internet. And, you know, it, it just, it amazes me. It amazes me how people do not see, you know, how little they have. And you're going to fucking argue with me. You're going to argue with me about you know, wanting to be able to say what I want to say on the internet uninfringed. And even when I bring up how economically and socially the internet affects people and how, you know, if I get banned from Facebook, that cuts into my social life. You know, Facebook is the most practical means to communicate with faraway family members and friends. Uh, there's a lot of businesses online that use couponing on Facebook and shit. But it's their firm. They can do what they want to. So, what I told this one attorney flat out was the fact that wouldn't it be a shame if someone started flagging all your posts and you got wrongfully deleted and you weren't able to advertise your lawyering self because Facebook would cut into that. You know, without a Facebook, you're not going to get nearly as much leverage as an attorney. Maybe they should think about that before they talk out their asshole about how it's their forum. You know, maybe everyone should. Because you don't seem to realize how important internet access is to your daily life. To exist in the first world without internet is ri it's ridiculous. You know, it would be like going back to the dark ages. And they expect other people to have to deal with that. Oh, it's fine when it's somebody else. When it's somebody else getting banned, and it's somebody else having to jump through hoops to just fucking go on a website, oh, then it's just fine. But when it's you, suddenly we have a problem. So, uh, I'm going to link to this guy's Facebook, and I'm going to link to this attorney in general, and you can flag all his posts, and you can teach him just how the fuck it feels to be banned everywhere, and how much it cuts into your daily life. How much, you know, it takes away from you, and the fact that you could do nothing at all, and still get fucking banned. Because he had the nerve 
to say that, well, it's your fault for not be following the terms of service. Even though the terms of service says that you don't have to break the terms of service at all. That if they want to be a dick to you, they can. What kind of rational contract is that? What attorney in the right mind would say that? Where did he get his fucking law degree? Uh, you know, McDonald's? It's fucking ridiculous, man. This guy is completely unprofessional, and that's why I'm making a public spectacle of him.